Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We got to the point where we are just counting the victims. We're not uh, asking questions if there will be any victims. We know there will be, they are, uh, and we just uh, count them right now. So it's not like, oh, uh, you know, is this going to um, yield victims? Uh, yes. Uh, we passed that. Okay, how many? Well, let me count them. It's not like, oh, there is, the victims will, um, will be about 50. No, you can go and count them right now because the, the act already occurred. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about um, the Western uh, uh, all the way uh, involvement in providing Ukraine with everything. When I say everything, I'm saying everything but nuclear weapons um legally boots on the ground in ukraine the key word is legally uh and then uh, or reportedly like you know admittedly and the other one is real tanks uh, modern tanks and modern aircraft that's all that's all well i'm pretty sure there's some other uh things that uh, the americans will not provide the ukrainians with uh, why do I say Americans? Because that's all what matters and they are in charge of who's doing what and how much. In this case, as I said, we don't talk about if uh, the Ukrainians uh, will receive this or when or... No, no, no. They, they're already done. It's about a number now. They're discussing this number, this number and this number. As you probably know, yesterday the United States and Germany decided to, uh, you know, send... Um, Ukraine, uh, the you know infantry vehicles, armored vehicles, uh, Bradleys, and uh, now it seems like Germany wants to say martyr uh, vehicles to uh, Ukraine. France will send uh, light tanks. That's how they call them. That's tanks on um, wheels, on uh, rubber wheels. I made a uh, a video about this yesterday. I provided a picture as well. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're right there, you know what I mean? They're right there. It's about the number now. It's not about if or when. So, this article comes from Reuters, uh, January 6th, 2023. My problem is that the Russians are still uh, hoping for something. I don't know. They're not, um, they're not realizing the uh, seriosity or how serious the situation is. Um, they think that they can discuss with the West. No, I think that the West really wants these guys to, uh, I don't know, for end up like a Gaddafi. And that's it. Nothing in between. Nothing uh, below that. That's how I think. And the Russians uh, uh, did not uh, got that through their uh, thick skulls yet. And they still think that, oh yeah, we're going to have a peace uh, process, we're going to negotiate, we're open. No, they want you gone like Gaddafi style. And you don't get it yet. You still wear uh, suits with your little ties and you're important, and you have United Nations and the US Embassy, Antonov, the ambassador, made another stupid claim again. I mean, face it, these guys are over there not to discuss with you. You got to go. Uh, when you realize that, you're going to stop talking. We're open for negotiations. No. You know how you're going to negotiate? When your enemy is on his knees or is no more. That's how they look at things. You don't think so? You think you're dealing with a uh, romanticized uh, view of America and the West that I grew up with. You know, they're different people, special, America is this, America... All you need to do is look at the Nuremberg Trials and see how A-OK -okay that was. And when you read that, not the uh, approved version of that, no, some other, other angles and more information, you're going to find out how uh, great those trials were. I'm not saying anything about uh, German leadership, but it, it, tell, the, it tells a lot about the, the, the guys in charge of the law process then or the process of dispensing law uh, don't let yourself on those guys' hand never do not let yourself on that you're going to be hanged um, you deserve it or not uh, that's a different story 
This article comes from Reuters. As I said, Germany wants to deliver around 40 40 murder vehicles to Ukraine in the first quarter. Good. I'm pretty sure you will be able to do that and um, Russia will think that they could negotiate. They will talk about red lines and little uh, balls, red balls and all that and bullshit. Anyway, Germany said on Friday it wants to deliver around 40 murder infantry vehicles fighting vehicles to Ukraine before the end of March. And Vice Chancellor Robert Habeck said Berlin could ultimately send its entire functioning fleet of weapons. Yeah, uh, no illusions and hopes and expectations, Russia. They will give them all. Why do you think they give those to, to the Ukrainians? To, I don't know, to pay you a visit or something? No. <laughs> to have you like Saddam and like, what's his name? Not even Saddam. Uh, whatever his name is, Gaddafi. Germany announced on Thursday it would provide martyrs to Ukraine, ramping up military support Kiev to repel Russian forces. Not only to repel, to take care of you. You think that if you repel, uh, uh, they're going to be end of it? No, they're going to keep going. Look at the statements this Kuleba makes, or Reznikov, or the other kosher, uh, Zmihal, or what's his name? Zmihal is kind of quiet. I think he's working with the money underneath the table. I think that's where Zmihal, that's his job. He's kind of quiet about, uh, how should I put it, international uh, matters. I think he's with the IMF, with his people, you know what I mean? With uh, World Bank, they do the finances and, uh, you know, this kind of thing. Yeah, pick your pocket. Anyway, this is Zmihal, but Zelensky, the same. Do you think that if, let's say, tomorrow, I am 100% that if tomorrow Russia decides to go to the borders of before, I don't know, uh, 2013, give back uh, um, Crimea, the Ukrainians will not stop there. They will keep demanding. They will keep demanding, keep demanding, keep demanding. And for good reasons. They were going to start with reparations, right? Uh, they will start with Putin and the Russian uh, leadership out. They would uh, want to have a say on who will lead a uh, Russian uh, nation, definitely. They would, would like NATO co to control everything that uh, is in, in uh, that country. They would like free access to Russian people's resources, natural resources. Basically, that's a takeover, like you are. They want Russia to become like you, Ukraine, a vassal state. So no. Uh, how should I put it? Uh, pick up your little straps and, uh, you know, take things as they are and plan accordingly. Otherwise, you're going to have a uh, Gaddafi kind of uh, wake-up call. Now, Germany announced on Thursday it would provide uh, martyrs to Ukraine, ramping up military support for Kiev and repel Russian forces. The announcement came on the same day that the United States pledged Bradley fighting vehicles and a day after a similar announcement from France. How do you look at this, Russia? I would look at this as an Ar uh, Armageddon, where everybody's against me, or at least those guys are against me. What, 40 countries, 30 countries, which actually are, actually are two, the United States and Great Britain. Uh, the other ones are just dragged along because they're part of the club. And how would you plan uh, regarding that? Don't tell me Ukraine, you fight Ukraine, you find... No, no, you don't fight Ukraine, and you know that. So, again, plan accordingly. Government spokesman Stefan Haberstein, Haberstein said a Patriot anti-aircraft missile system from Army stocks will be delivered to Ukraine in the first quarter. Washington has also offered Patriot to Ukraine. But how can you do that in the first quarter when the, the Ukrainians cannot operate it? Hey, I mean, fuck off start asking questions uh, because I know that you need about six months to operate a, a, a Patriot but why do you ask questions I mean the weasels don't ask this kind of question so let's move on you know you know who's going to operate that one right Zelensky and Shmihal all right now training on the murder vehicle is to take place in Germany and last about eight weeks Haberstein added how about the Patriot baby doll speaking in Breivik Norway vice chancellor Habeck said that Germany should send all martyrs that are operational to Ukraine. Yeah, do that. 
<coughs> Habak did not specify how many vehicles this would be. Germany once fielded hundreds of martyrs, but has been phasing out the Cold War era weapons to favor the newest, the newer Pumas, which it has purchased to replace them. Good. Thursday's announcement came after Chancellor Olaf Scholz faced a chorus of calls from within his three-way coalition to beef up military support for Ukraine. Following France's announcement, it was sending AMX-10 RC combat vehicles. Those combat vehicles are told are, are called light tanks, just so you know. But hey, they use this kind of euphemism, so we just we don't realize that. I made a video on it yesterday and a picture. And Schultz has ramped up defense spending, blah, blah, blah. Good, 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 good. That means the German people will have a better life. Oh, you don't care about that? Oh, we know. Good. It's unbelievable. Well, we'll find out. I mean, uh, push and push and push. But you're not involved. You're not actively involved in this war whatsoever. And then if the Russians will act uh, upon all this in a different way than uh, they acted uh, so far, then they will be called this and could be called that. I mean, you say, well, you put yourself in these uh, uh, situations. Well, I think that's a very, very, very short-sighted uh, statement. Because uh, if you just started from uh, February 24th, you, you could do it from February 23rd. And if you go th that, you go to December 2021. 20, uh, and uh, you can find out uh, security guarantees. Oh, no, we, Russia should not have security guarantees assured. Only Ukraine and other weasels. Right? Right. Then you can uh, look very, very nice in 2014, 2015. You're going to look at 2008 in the summit, NATO summit in Bucharest. You can start in 1991. No inch further east from NATO, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, expanded five times or whatever they expanded. <coughs> so remember, uh, the history doesn't start here. But unfortunately, uh, Russia is too big and too strong, has to disappear. And these guys are gonna stop uh, from nothing to uh, achieve that goal. The Russians still think that they can discuss with Americans. The Americans kicked them in the teeth clearly and decisively last year. It was not only last year. I remember last year, not last year, sorry, two years ago in 2021, when the Russians were running away running around with papers uh, telling the Americans, come on, come and talk and negotiate our safety guarantees, security guarantees. And the Americans, get, get the fuck out of here. Th that told you the, the, the relationship desired by uh, United States in relation to Russia. N not an equal. Nobody's United States is equal. Okay, well, then you have to win uh, that position. How do you win it? Here you have it. So, um, yeah, uh, when I saw how the Americans are just did not talk to the Russians whatsoever regarding anything, anything, and the Russians told them and told them and told them. I mean, you can check it out if you are aware of that. Don't yell at me. Those are facts. It's not me just pulling it out of my balls or something. So anyway, uh, yeah, provide the martyrs, uh, I don't know, thousands of them, until Russia gets fed up and uh, someone gets a l really, really angry, and uh, then what? And again, instead of uh, uh, looking at the whole situation, you're going to point the finger the easiest way out. It's your fault. No, uh, why don't you take a mirror and take some responsibility as well? No. Why? Because that's the way, unfortunately, the world works. And we allow this kind of people to be in charge of us. Willingly. How? voting. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.